Good idea. So also, today I'm going to be popping this TLC brand generic Chinese capacitor. 1050 volt rated, 33 microfarad. Never worked properly those cheap capacitors. So I'm going to burn it until it goes pop. I need a time now, it should be a pop. Hit the top of it, there you go, starting the bulge. There you go. Oops, camera's playing up here, you gotta get the zoom right. There you go, you can see all the smoke being produced. Mmm, that stinks. Lots of smoke being generated. This rubber base is very hard to zone. There you go. That was more interesting. Let's see what else I can burn. Um, unvented caps on this old DVD player. How, uh, that's just a video processing board with all the inputs and stuff on it. That'll go pop. There you go. These are going pop for sure, nice and loud, so I've got to press them the right way. Nice and loud. I'm going to try and set this up a bit better. Alright viewers, let's get popping these caps. Got some safety glasses and stuff on. Alright. Here we go. And the one behind it. Whew. See, generic Chinese capacitors, no safety features, just time bombs. Gonna face the right way here so it doesn't hit anything. Let's go. Um, yeah, like that. there you go. Got heaps here. Ah, oh, extinguish the flame. Now this, it was a cheap DVD player, so none of these capacitors are vented. They're all completely sealed. It's extinguishing my flame. Ah, blows the torch here. They smell bad. Make a hell of a mess. Two more there to go pop. Blow it downwards then.
yeah, that's what I mean, cheap Chinese electronics. No safety features, just burns and smokes like crazy. Nothing safe about that, is there? Oh, that stinks. Try this capacitor now. Cut the door up on this side. There you go. Okay, the yours well. Here's what's inside one of these electrolytics. You've got the positive plate, just a piece of foil wrapped around this piece of paper called a dielectric. There's a negative plate here, that's separated by this paper in between. Then they put this gel stuff, which is the electrolytic stuff, inside the capacitor. And it's this electrolytic stuff that doesn't seem to be made properly when they make dodgy capacitors in China. I think that's a negative one. That shiny foil is a positive plate. There's an insulator, the dielectric, and another paper insulator on the outside of that, of that again. So yeah, you can see how it's all wound up. It's all completely dried out because I heated it up. The electrolyte just um, turns to a gas, which creates a smoke, and, why, and that's why it went pop, because it built up pressure. And that electrolyte burning out and breaking down from the heat is what causes it to pop and turns that stinky gas and smoke you see come out of it. Yeah. The quality of the materials themselves are pretty good in, the, in these cheap capacitors, but it's the electrolyte they put in there is what makes them fail. That's probably about maybe 40 centimetres long. So yeah, for a little capacitor of this size. You can see the same things in these little ones. So yeah, there's a burnt or the plastic coating, then a burnt or the substrate through the circuit board and some Looks like I popped the integrated circuit there. Yeah. That's what's inside an electrolyte and what happens if these get, yeah, like the heat does it as capacitors, so. Which is why um, Chinese capacitors go pop because they're unvented. You know, that's bits and pieces of the paper they leave behind when they pop, so. Yeah. Thanks for watching.